Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to check Cresta Gecko calcium sacs. What you're going to want to do is grab your gecko softly, just make sure you're not rough with him, and hold them by the chest just so that you know they are nice and calm and you're able to restrict them without hurting them so holding them by the collarbone like this is the safest way the way i like to check for their calcium sacs is that i just start rubbing on the sides of their mouth it kind of pisses them off Tap, 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 tap. I need to readjust. As you can see, he's slowly starting to open his mouth. It takes a bit. Just gotta go in this general vicinity right here. Rub around. Let's see if see how you just snapped at me. He's going to get angry and just gape at me. Now this is a male that's in mid breeding season, so I don't expect him to have a lot of calcium because he has gone off of food for a bit. Come on. No, it's okay. If they struggle, just allow him to move around. You don't want him to get too stressed out and lose his tail. There you go. You can see the calcium sacs there. Keep in mind that males have smaller calcium sacs than females do, so it's really hard to see it here. So let's see a female. This is Blaze, my very first reptile. She's actually retired now and no longer breeding, but as you can see, she's half fired up because the lights are still on in her enclosure. But she was just a buckskin when I got her back 11 years ago, but she's still nice and healthy. She lost her tail while she was breeding, but uh, that was just because there was a very aggressive male. But now she's nice and healthy and happy, and she's not going anywhere. She stays with me. So let's see her calcium sacs. So same thing, hold her by the collarbone, rub the cheeks. She's a little bit easier because she gets pissed off easy. And you can see the calcium sacs in there. See, one more time. See that nice white pockets there? That shows that she's good on calcium. And there you have it. How to check Cresta Gecko calcium sacs. You shouldn't have to check calcium sacs often so maybe once per breeding season, probably right at the beginning is all you really need to do this for. You don't want to be stressing out your crested geckos a lot by doing this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop a like down below and comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks.